Here we are, still in high sec. God, I hate high sec. It's about to change soon, though. After about a two week process, we've finally found a new home. And this is the story of the takeover of our new wormhole home. Roll the intro. Case space bullshittery, ganking, suicide ganking, failing ganking like this one weren't all we were up to the last couple weeks. Leadership decided upon a hole for us, so we spent a week scanning chain after chain after chain until we finally found the wormhole that we were going for. Prior to finding the wormhole, we had vowed that we would take the hole no matter what, and what we found was this Astra House owned by Hanuman Industries, and upon reviewing their kill board, they were loosely associated with a group called Snuffed Out. These guys are known to have a formidable kill board, and they're also known to be real fucking assholes. On a recent campaign, they evicted the Space Pope, but that's all good and well because we knew we have our own good selection of sadistic bastards. I'm gonna pull your tongue out, nail it to the floor. I'm gonna get a hot iron and roll it through your tongue. I'm gonna sew your asshole shut and keep feeding you, feeding you. What the f so we decided to throw caution to the wind and open up shop in the wormhole with our own control tower and a small fleet of guys ready to jump on anything. We maintained hole control and waited until the weekend to hit his Astra house, during which time we waited and waited and watched to see if he would log in and he didn't. Until Friday, one of our scouts caught an epithal on his Astra house, and soon after this incident, he contacted our CEO. I might be a little bit more, mm, I'd rather shoot you. But in this case, I'd, mm, I'd rather sleep. How, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what's he asking? He was uh, asking 1.5 bill for the whole lot. Oh, that's, fuck yeah, that's dude. We can all go home. Right? Yeah. I we can all more sleep than that tonight. On yeah, we can all sleep tonight, fuck. Well. <laughs> and that's exactly what everyone was thinking. Finally, we can sleep tonight. We spent days maintaining hole control 24 hours a day. We spent hours bashing his Astra house and his player owned customs offices, which is what got his attention in the first place. Finally, a good deal. He offered 1.5 billion for the entire hole and all of the structures within. It would save him the losses and it would save us the trouble, time, and sleep. But things are never so simple, are they? I logged in the next day to see the timer hit reset, and I asked what the story was. So the guy was on for downtime, talking to trends, everything is fine. And uh, he says, well, I guess transfer me 75 mil, and then I'll transfer you a POCO, and so on and so forth. She says, well, how about, because uh, they were all spread out over like two hour window, so they work out, negotiate, whatever, to where she's like, I don't want to make 14 different fucking transactions. How about I'll, you know, pay you half now, up front, half when you finish. That's fine, you know, agreeable terms. Transfers the first POCO. Everything seems to be going without a hitch. And they start coming out, coming out. Warlock notices that two of them had been transferred to the Shadow Cartel. Yeah, so then we started mention, scrambling no. to hit the rest of them as they come out before he could transfer them. Some of them he was able to transfer, some of them he wasn't, so we killed them. The other thing too, the Shadow Cartel is we'd have to get somebody from Shadow Cartel to come in the hole to transfer them. Oh, and he didn't right. just send them to one corp. He sent them to different corps one at a time. Yeah, okay. Got to you. be the biggest cunt he could. Yeah. So he left the convo with Trends. Trends, after we point out, hey, these aren't getting transferred to us, tries to open a convo. It says uh, pilots either not online or unavailable. Warlock convos him. He says, hey, man. The guy says, what's up? Can I help you? Warlock says, yeah, you backed out of your deal. The guy says, fuck you, and blocked Warlock. And so it was back to shooting his Astra house. 
And by now, our Astra House had come out of its anchoring timer, and it's dockable now. So, we have a foothold in the wormhole at this point, a staging place where we can operate out of to maintain complete hole control. So at this point we have time to bring in more forces and more ships. His thought process was he would buy himself some time. He thought his timers were at bullshit hours that we wouldn't even mess with. He thought that he had gotten away with taking half of the money, 750 million, but he's mistaken. He has no idea how petty we are, how dedicated we are, and to what extent our minds are criminal. The next morning saw us way outside of our normal activity times, bashing his astro house again, along with fireworks to celebrate our persistence in watching him burn. We quickly ate through the armor without any resistance from the owner, but at the end of that, a shitty timer was revealed to us. Wait, what was the timer? Motherfucker! Two days, one hour, and thirteen minutes. Nevertheless, we're a dedicated crew, like I said, and we were going to make the next timer. But in the meantime, we were pretty damn bored, so we decided to go ahead and bash the dead stick that was in there. We also had a few run ins with people who ended up connecting with us. Are we taking the fight? Oh, that's thrashers. Oh, shit. Black hatchers. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of thrashers. Are we flying away if we can? But fighting isn't the reason we were here. We were here to claim the destiny of our corporation. By this point, we have made numerous sacrifices to Bob, the god of RNG. And we've finally entered the last 24 hours of our siege. Half out of spite and half out of boredom, we bubble fuck his astro house. We even left him a nice message, complete with invocation of various demons, along with cans, 14 of them below, named after and representing the 14 characters still remaining in his station. We still had hours ahead of us, camping every wormhole in the system. We still had what seemed like an eternity to wait with our battleships on standby. We sat in a mind-numbing time warp, staring at wormholes that seemed to be laughing in our faces, what with our itchy trigger fingers, waiting for the climax of our mission. At long last, Hanuman's final hour had arrived. Five minutes till the Astra House timer, the fleet commander warped us. Hanuman realized the point was moot in defense and left his structure undefended. 